Hello, and welcome to my speedrun of World of Dreams by Eddie Larkin. This is a um, an obscure, surreal flash platformer off of Newgrounds that was made, by, made in um, 2007 by one Eddie Larkin. And no one really pays it to really, um, nobody's really paid attention to it or acknowledged it on, on, uh, YouTube or in any speedrunning sense, so I figured I would be the first. Now, the first thing we need to do is clear our save data. And then we're going to, um, start the timer as soon as we jump through this portal to start. Three, two, one, go! So we start off by immediately running to the left here and entering the Daydream scheme. And then right from the start, we have a pretty significant skip. We can just jump right over there, bounce off these pigs, and we skip up a significant part of the first room. So we just jump off the tower here. These, uh, these moving platforms, you can get fancy on them. Now we get our cell phone and we can, now we can attack things. So we jump. Uh, there are some things you can, um, uh, some things you have to attack, but a lot of enemies you can just, um, just jump over a damage boost pass. Now the thing about the, uh, little bit of spaghetti there, but whatever. Now, the thing about the, uh, Sonic Blast is that you cannot move left and right while you use it. So we're just going to uh, jump over here, um, skip these pigs. We can just, uh, if we got lucky enough not to get hit by the spring head, not much we can do on this lift. We can just, we can just damage boost past these. You know, and we we're lucky enough to not get hit by that. We get some extra HP. We can just do that. Now these pla rotating platforms are kind of tricky because if you stand, oh, okay. if you stand in the middle, you might um, rotate the platform that you're standing on, which uh, will make you fall. Okay, <laughs> and we just go up here to this platform, and here we have our first boss, Boss Hog. <laughs> I really love the music in this game. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah, this is Stop Motion Symphony by, uh, by Maestro Rage, I think. <laughs> yeah, this boss is pretty scripted, it's pretty much the same thing every time. So yeah, he drops these eggs, and then we just attack the big egg to knock it up into him. Again, not really much to say. Not many, uh, not, re not really any fancy tricks you can do to speed up this part. But I will mention, yeah, our little, um, hero here, uh, for the longest time I thought that that yellow spot on his spacesuit was, was like his eye, but he's not. And BAM! Okay, that's Boss Hog done in just under three minutes. <laughs> But no, um, yeah, that's not his eye, that's just a, a design on his, his, uh, his, uh, little space helmet here. It's got a visor there. And it looks like he's got, okay, another, uh, little bit of desync there. But another significant skip, you can just jump straight down here. We got these apple cannons, this one can be kind of tough to get through without taking damage. There's a bonus stage down there, but we're gonna ignore it. Holy crap, I no-hit this segment as well. Okay, we died here, but a little bit of spaghetti, but it doesn't really lose us any... It doesn't really lose us any time. Other scrolling segment, again, not here, again, not, my, not much we can do. We can grab a bonus coin, just, just because we can. Doesn't really lose us any time. I am taking a lot of damage here, I need to be more careful. <coughs> Hop out here. We've been healed. Oh, great. Now, the thing about these jack in the box. What am I doing? 
thing about these jack in the boxes, they need to be hit three times to kill. <laughs> yeah. So strictly speaking, <laughs> okay, we yeah, sometimes it's better to just damage boost through them. I just bounce up these clouds. Avoid these spiky, um, uh, amoeba picking things. They can just damage boost past that. <laughs> yeah, this segment right here. If you get good enough RNG, the um, Jack of the Boxes actually won't even spawn. <laughs> but I, unfortunately, I don't think there's any easy way to replicate that. Now, considering how fast your character moves, you don't even have to like um, wait for that to get into position. It's, it's all right. We can take a hit from that because we're gonna get healed as soon as we enter the next area. <laughs> and time for the second boss, Lord Flux. Human. So this guy also uh, looks he looks pretty fearsome, but all you need to do is sit under here. He goes back and forth, drops missiles, then he places little sparkles here that explode, and then you just hit this. And you don't need to wait for him to actually line up with the uh, the Tesla Tower to um, to get him. As long as he's within the approximate area of the shockwave, he will get attracted to it and, it and still take damage. This, is, this song is Dark Skies by Maestro Rage. Another really good one. All the bosses have their own voice clips, but, um, but it's really hard to hear them. Oh, ow. I didn't lose me any time, but I could have avoided that. Got him. I will end you. <laughs> okay, so now his lower half falls off, and here all you need to do is just do this. <clears throat> and then the button shows up again. Now, I wonder if this is actually Lord Flux's castle or not, and if it's not, I mean, if, he, if it is, why would he have something like this in his, uh, castle? It's probably not, considering something that we'll, uh, we'll um, see in the, uh, final stage of this game. <coughs> Bam! And that so, is... Uh, reboot Ewingo Operation and Command Terminate and Command Invalid. And that is Lord Flux defeated. <laughs> Seven minutes in. Continue. I will immediately hop down here, hit this, and enter the snooze mines. Spiders are not worth your time to kill. We just drop down here. A little bit of lost time there. <laughs> I am taking a lot of damage. Oh man. Okay. Now Snooze Mines is this is the speedrun killer level. <laughs> Specifically for a part that you will see in just a minute. This part is absolutely awful. <laughs> this is desynced platforms. The Nightmare World. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. And also the camera and the, Look, I like this game, but the camera is awful. Okay, we actually got some, um, lucky, uh, platform RNG there. <laughs> Go here. Jump over there. Okay. We take a hit there. Now we need to uh, kind of just jog down here. Come on! Oh man, we got super, super lucky. Yeah. Okay. Now. Oh. Oops. Okay, that was also pretty lucky. And we get the double jump.
The double jump can be kind of panicky, but... But, um, it's still manageable. Hopefully, ignore the spiders, as always. You can actually, you actually die if you fall into that water, which doesn't make sense. It doesn't look, look very deep, but whatever, whatever. We go here. We uh, face ran past the spider. Hit the switch. I just pop through there. Yeah. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing about the physics in this game. If you uh bump your head on the ceiling, you like bounce off. It can be kind of annoying. Okay, so we just go down here. Fairly manageable. Oh, got punched by that. Out into the lava area with the mushrooms. Little mo at least you, yeah, at least you can see the platforms you're bouncing on this time. There's a secret area up there, but in the interest of time, we'll be ignoring it. Oh, a little bit of spaghetti there, but not too much of a problem. Oh, snap! <laughs> Made it! Also, you get healed every time you go in the area. Okay, more pretty tight, uh, wind falling. Oh, okay, I don't even think it's- I don't even know if it's possible to get there without taking edge. And now we need to protect the fairy. As long as we rush ahead at high speed, um, it wouldn't- it shouldn't be too troublesome. Uh, unless we do that. <laughs> yeah, if you, um, if the fairy dies, then, um, an anvil falls on your head and it kills you. <laughs> Nothing to, um, it's tough your first time through, but, okay, now we get the, we get it. The tank's thunder by, uh, I, by, I forget who, and, uh, we get a, um, little battle arena of spiders. Ow! That's sick. Yeah, yeah, that could be really troublesome. Uh, and now we get laser cannons. Uh, I need to find some deals. I like this song. Uh oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, this is. Okay, I need to redirect this uh, cannon. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of lost time. Under normal circumstances, I could just uh, face roll past it, but. And over here we get our ship! Alright. <clears throat> right. So, now as we're just falling down this hole, we need to dodge um, these spikes. I like the I do like the little um BB effect on the ship. It's not it's subtle, but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and yeah, not really much to uh <laughs> not much to talk about here, but the spikes do last longer than you think they do. So that can be kind of annoying. Not really, uh... Okay, now it gets a little bit more troublesome. Ah! Oh. One, two, three, four, five... Okay. Okay! And boss time! 
Overseer Crux. And we get another. Uh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh. Uh, uh, I wasn't able to get that all in one cycle, but. Got him. <laughs> yeah, nice! I think that's a record for his first um, ship. Now he comes up with another ship. And this one, yeah, this one, it's... This one fires fast enough that you kind of just gotta focus on dodging. Oh, crap, I... Yeah. Oh! I think that was another record. And... Boom! And with the Team Rocket reference, Overseer Crux goes down 15 minutes in. Let's continue. And, uh, a little more spaghetti. Uh, we just double jump up here. Have a nice day! And we just go, uh, go over that, um, bridge and into this stormy area and enter Nightmare Maelstrom. Desolation. Now, okay, now this is the only, um, stage I haven't, this is the final stage, and I haven't really practiced it as much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this first area is just, um, jumping up past these platforms and, uh, bridges. If you hold, if you hold the jump button, you jump continuously, so yeah. And then you just go up here into Dead Castle, <laughs> the wine cellar. Now what you do here is you just face roll, because this this area is BS of the highest order. <laughs> yeah. And now we're in Castle Labs. Okay. Come on. Oh crap. Come on. Oh man, I just lost a lot of time there. It's very easy to die here. <laughs> oh, oh man, that was close. Ow! I probably could have uh, been more patient there. You can uh, just jump straight past that one. Ow! Okay, the war room. This is another tough one, because it's just missiles everywhere. Oh. And they're pretty tough to jump over. As here, with a lovely uh, Doctor Strange Love reference in the background. That's this, and then we get some, um... Okay, I was lucky enough to dodge that, and now we're at the Baron. I'm pretty sure it's, his name is Baron Barton. I just had to say it as the Baron because his name is blurred out. Oh, but, if you, uh, but if you look at it, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Baron Barton. Anyway, this guy's very easy. I don't know why I let myself get hit there. You just run back and forth. If you do it fast enough, you won't even be able to hit you. <laughs> I hit him that many times, enough times, and you can go into the floodgates. And now you just chase him down while he keeps trying to shoot at you. Then we jump up here, hit the faucet. And then zap him. <laughs> okay, I um, I was a little bit late on the uh, on the split there, but hey, Dead Castle Sky Platform, and we enter the Knife Edge. 
a um, shooter segment. Mm. Yeah, this again. This part is um, this part is uh, this part is on rails, and uh, there's no way to make it go faster. Um, yeah, this part was actually pretty tough for me when I was younger. And guess who's back? Capacited flux. Yeah, um... Fortunately, he is not significantly harder than last time. <laughs> yeah, he still has not developed any new tactics beyond um, beyond carpet bombing with missiles. He just goes back and forth and then projects his force field to shoot um, balls at you. But he shoot, but he does shoot for longer every round. So. Um, Um, anyway, still not much to say for this one. Just do the same thing six times and it's gone. Please die now. No, I don't think I will. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> Boom! And I mark it in when the explosion. 20, so approximately Dunkazu Time Fortress. Oh, here's the real final stage. <laughs> now this is this one's very easy to screw up in because of all these little unfeeling um, spaceships ever. <laughs> but we've we managed to avoid it and we just drop down here. I didn't see what that message said, but you can check out most frontal lobotomy. So yeah, screen is reversed. of red spaghetti so I'm taking a little bit slow. <laughs> Wanna make sure I have enough height to clear these um aliens. <laughs> Their hitbox is really deceptive. Oh man I almost fell off of that one. Hopping mad and now we're upside down. Okay, so you cannot. Okay, so you cannot clear that with a uh, single jump. Okay, a little bit of lost time there. Back to there. Space hopper. And now I am constantly bouncing. That's the name. Oh yeah. Oh, gotta. Not the best moving platform RNG there. And this is where the head bumping thing um, can really screw you over. Some of these you can just reliably face roll. Especially that one near the end. Awakening Chasm.
And I wish I wasn't so close to the bottom of the screen. An eye of the storm. That painting actually jump scares you and kills you if you stand in front of it for for uh, for too long. A uh, little bit of lost time there, but who cares? Dawn. I'll just jump up here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> A spaceship. Or you the nightmare. the nightmare does not end. Umbrum. <laughs> now he has his own ship. I really want to know the story behind um he is um figures who who um keep showing up and why they're in this kid's dream. It's gotta come from somewhere, right? Anyway, now we're in a, um, now we're in a, um, Star Fox segment. <laughs> now we just, we just gotta shoot the red three points. Oh, got him! Oh, ow, that was not optimal. Yeah, I think it is possible to um to get him in one, to uh to get his first phase in one cycle. But yeah. Now he uh detaches those segments and there's a new ship. Here we just rotate counterclockwise. And he can't hit us. And we, uh... Yeah, this is probably his easiest one. Dodge that. And now he, um, starts tracing with the, in, uh, lines with this laser. But yeah. As long as you just keep on, uh, just keep on, um, moving in front of him, you'll be fine. And then we, and then we get hit by an asteroid that's Umbrum down. <laughs> oh, can we get? Still have some strength. Can we get the sub 30? <laughs> Come on, we shoot him. This is not nearly over. Okay, we got it. Okay. Alright, it's the Nightmare Dragon. So, uh, his cycles. <laughs> yeah, his cycles are all fixed. <laughs> But, um, hopefully we can get him done in two minutes. Ow. That was... practice against this guy. <laughs> I think we might actually be able to do this. <laughs> two two more cycles left. Okay, the fire breath. Ow, got hit there. And then he starts uh, dropping lasers from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> 
can just bounce up to his heart. <laughs> come on, we've almost got it! One, two, three, come on. Oh, I'm so ready, I'm so ready, I'm so ready, I'm so ready for this! Come on! BAM! Yes, we got it! 29 minutes, 33 seconds! And that, my friends, was World of Dreams. And my first speedrun in any capacity, really. And hell yes, I'm gonna sit through the credits because these, um, because, <laughs> um, uh, the soundtrack deserves credit. It's nice.